I don't know what I would do without BDTV. With math, science, and English, I don't get to truly express myself. The arts are an important factor in our education and can help our next generation succeed. I'm Hope with BDTV. Let's find a little bit more about how the arts can benefit us. Students who take almost four years of arts and music classes average almost 100 points higher on their SAT scores than students who don't take arts at all. And 96% don't offer theater. Two thirds of public school teachers believe that arts are getting crowded out of the school days. How would you feel if the arts were taken away from all public schools? Well, I believe that art is really the center of everything, so if that was taken away, then the younger kids, they wouldn't be able to express themselves and all the emotions that they have and all their creativity and put it on paper. The arts in schools are just as important as any other subject, and really more so due to the scope of what's included and how it touches so many facets. How can the arts benefit your students long term? Well, first of all, the arts are like anything else. The more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. That being said, uh, the arts can help kids learn how to be creative, not just express their creativity, but learn actually how to be creative. We've seen, uh, because of uh, technology, that there's been a decline in some areas of creativity. Not only are the arts important for building creativity, but it improves our skills, confidence, and visual learning. I'm Hope with BDTV. Find what expresses you and stop at nothing to pursue it. You know us, we're not picture perfect. Our hands are delicate. Well, kind of. Gold? It's definitely our color. We're always quiet and proper. Right? Ah! And we don't dare laugh in public. <laughs> you know us. Right? We are stronger and more hardcore than you may think. We come in all different shapes and sizes. You are beautiful, so don't let anyone tell you different. This is us. We are girls. There are 327,000 firefighters listed in the U.S. and plenty more volunteers. These men and women risk their lives for us every day. But how much do we really know about them? I'm Hope here at the Winter Haven Fire Department here with firefighter Travis and he's going to show us what a day in the life of a firefighter is like. Okay, so we start off in the morning checking our compartments. This is our tool compartment. Uh, we make sure everything is in here and functioning properly because we don't know what we're going to encounter during the day. And of course I had to try out the pole. But everything here at the fire station definitely has a purpose. So we always have to be in a ready state because we don't know when someone's going down on one. So we leave our boots and our pants. That way we can just take off our station boots and we can step right into it. Pull up our suspenders and we're ready to go. Um, this is our coat, it's insulated. We have a hood. Uh, this protects all of our uh, skin that might be exposed around our ears, our neck. We get our water from the hydrants located around the city. We hook them into our truck and all of our hoses on the truck are pre-connected. So when we get on a fire scene, all we have to do is pull the hose off, charge the line, go in the house and put the fire out. I can show you that right now if you want. Yeah. I hope May 4th, Firefighter Appreciation Day, isn't the only day that you show appreciation to the firefighters that risk their lives for you. I'm Hope with BDTV, fire it up! Can you guess where I am? You guessed it, I'm Hope here at the Florida State Fair, and the fair has been a Florida tradition for 114 years. So come with me and let's go see all the fun and cool things that we can do here. When you think of the fair, you may think of all the outside attractions, but you might not think of all the indoor businesses that display and sell their products. 
From Cubans to strombolis to even chicken tenders, you'll never go hungry at the fair. Who doesn't love a good petting zoo? You can pet and even feed your favorite animals. There's no better place than the fair to get cotton candy, funnel cakes, and deep fried Oreos. This is my favorite part about the Florida State Fair, the rides. So come join me on a few of them. The Ferris wheel was invented in 1890 and may be one of the greatest inventions of all time. The rides are some of my favorite things. Wow, I had the best day ever here at the Florida State Fair. And the fair will last from February 8th to February 19th. And if you can't make it to one of these dates, I'm Hope with BDTV, and I hope to see you next year. There are 50 lakes that either touch or are located within the city of Winter Haven and covers an estimated 5,200 acres. Wow, that's a lot. I'm Hope with BDTV. What are you waiting for? Follow me. Polk County is home to a total of 554 lakes, and it makes a great playground for fishermen and water sport enthusiasts. Swimming is the fourth most popular lake activity, and about 91 million teens and adults each year swim in lakes in the United States. This activity may be on the boring side for some of you, but I find it really fun. More than 44 million Americans aged six and older enjoy fishing every day. This activity takes a lot of patience, let me tell you. Wait, I think I got a bite. Tanning is the process of darkening your skin tone, and it's one of the more relaxing activities. So just lay down, jam to your favorite music, and sip on some ice cold lemonade. Tubing is definitely one of my favorites. It's a family fun activity that can be for all ages. I'm Hope with BDTV. Take advantage of all the lakes and all the activities that you can do on them. See you later, alligator.